LinkedIn question for finding clients. What is the best, what is the step-by-step -step process for finding potential clients on LinkedIn? Uh, what identifying information do I look for in each individual? What should I say in the message that I send? What information should be captured about them in the spreadsheet? And what are the VA tasks for this process? The reason, so the question, this was born a conversation that I had with Leslie. I was telling her about one of my clients who has this genius system on LinkedIn um, and it really, really has grown her business. And the reason that it works is because she has systemized the process and she has a rock star virtual assistant. Leslie has a rock star virtual assistant as well. She took front row CEO and that is how she found her perfect match virtual assistant. Doors are opening for that soon, you guys. If you do not have a VA, you must take this course. Okay, so this is the process. Okay, um, so she sends, she, okay, her VA goes and looks for people who have a certain title in their LinkedIn profile, which you can do with an easy LinkedIn search, okay? So you, Leslie, have to think about like, what is the title of, of the decision maker who's going to hire you for this training that you're going to do, right? Is it the human resources manager? Is it the, I don't know who they are, but you do. Okay. And you, it's probably actually like four or five different kind of titles. So you're going to show your VA, you're going to make a loom video and show them how to find those people in a LinkedIn search. Okay. Which, okay. So that's number one. So they're going to do that every single day. Um, and they're going, that's going to be part of like your business hygiene is every day. It's like brushing your teeth. She's going to go in and she's going to do these searches and she's going to put them all on a spreadsheet. And then she is going to, uh, so the first message that she sends to them, and you can only do 25 a day with a free account. LinkedIn only lets you do 25 in mails um, with a free account. So 25 people a day. Hey, first name, I see that you and I have shared connections. I'm a VA too and thought it would be nice to connect. So it just so happens this, not to confuse you, but the person who's doing this has a VA agency. She's a VA herself, but her VA is sending this message, okay? So she's reaching out to people who have VA in their title. Um, let's just pretend that this says, I'm a, I'm a copywriter too, okay? So she's reaching out to copywriter. I'm a copywriter too and, um, and thought it would be nice to connect, okay? Then when they reply and connect with her, she says, thanks for connecting with me. By the way, I write a new weekly newsletter for copywriters that's all about how to grow your copywriting agency. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you're interested, please send me your email address and I'll add you to the list. You can always unsubscribe if not useful. Or if you want to send them to your Facebook group, you can invite them to your Facebook group. And then um the va and this is you know this is a lot of work but again your va is doing this when they give you the email address your va is going to add that email to your email service provider and tag them accordingly so i think the tag she uses is something like linkedin approved or linkedin request or something like that so she knows where this person came from and um it really really works well for her so um Leslie and I had discussed how LinkedIn is really the place where she needs to be for what she's about to um, initiate. And so um, I, think, I think this is going to be a perfect strategy for you.